Well, Cartoonist Kayfabe has been kind of one of the industry's establishment groups. They, they do that deal where they're like pretending to be indie, but they're in with Marvel. They're in with everybody there. They get the big name interviews coming to their channels. So you know that they're part of the Whisper Network at the end of the day. True independent people who are actually contrary to whatever the mainstream narrative of political establishment and get blacklisted, get get attacked. And, and you can kind of look at things that way. Uh, and so I'm very careful when it comes to independent art. We try to, of course, support as many independent artists as possible who are not associated with the mainstream industry. But cartoonist Kayfabe, Ed Piscor, Jim Rugg, they are not part of that now there's some creepy dms that have surfaced today and this is wild stuff and it's gross and we're going to get into the news so just to warn you content wise before we get into this and we got a little background on just how stupid the cartoonist kayfabe leftist nonsense is by the way they're definitely a part of all this and so don't be fooled by their like you know like i said pretend indie nonsense uh because they are definitely on the side of evil here and this is why we're actually covering what's going on so the background on cartoonist kayfabe the first time like i came across them is like a problem uh they made a uh cover uh, uh which was a parody cover or homage cover uh which was which was uh, looking at the Mouse graphic novel, M-A-U-S. And M-A-U-S Mouse uh, is a, of course, uh, it's like a cartoon sort of animal mouse rat, but they're in concentration camps, so it's supposed to be a literal Nazi thing. So, of course, you can't homage that. You can't talk about that because, you know, you have to get canceled. It's, a, it's literally something. To, so what they dropped their cover, they apologized, they they said, uh, you know, did the whole thing uh, with, you know, stupid for, for art. You should never have to apologize for art like that. I actually made my own mouse uh, homage parody cover uh, because of that, and I just released it because I was going to show, you know what, you can't censor true independent art, and that's the whole point of what we do here. So that was the first time I came across them. Second time I came across them was they did an interview with Nexus co-creator Steve Rude, and Steve Rude was lambasting my Mike Barron, and it was over his politics. Mike Barron, of course, is a conservative guy, a uh, libertarian guy. I don't, I don't, however you want to define it. And uh, and of course, they were happy to lean into that and make sure that their audience knew that Mike Barron bad these days. Uh, and it's all because Mike just hangs out with uh, like people like me. And uh, so <laughs> you can't have that in the comic book industry. It's a big whisper network. And then the third time I came across them. Uh, there was a guy who's a conservative and, of course, part of Comicsgate who got banned from their Facebook group, who was a longtime contributor, all because people figured out, like, his allegiances. And so I saw this, and I went in there, and I, I, I mentioned something because I'm like, you know what? They were supposed to be about comics. They banned me, too. And so you know exactly where they're coming from. They are part of the leftist establishment in comics, and this is exactly what you find from these male feminist leftists every single time you find something creepy. Let's get into the news. My name's John Delarose. I'm a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator. You can see my mouse parody right here on my spectacular comics. I did this with my short comics. Uh, but if you're new to the channel, I recommend checking out Overmind or The Cosmic Warrior. I think these are just uh, hailed as my best uh, from people who come and join us. You might like anything of the above. If it looks like it suits your taste, just grab one of them. Check it out. I would appreciate you supporting our books. That link's in the description below, along with the subscribe star if you want to subscribe and, of course, help us produce our content all the time. I really appreciate everybody who does so. So this is what happened with Ed Piscor. A young artist drops disgusting DMs. I felt like he was trying to groom me. And uh, I gave a little background, just like I did at the beginning of the video, about like why these people are part of the establishment it's like this fake indie thing, like I said. And here's the DMs. Uh, so this Sid Goblin actually dropped the DMs. She said that Ed Piscor was talking to her like this when she was 17 years old. He starts sending the heart face. You know, it's the it's the gamma male, like, uh, bad flirting online, right? Because uh, this is what he does. He's about 40, uh, probably about 38 at the time when he was doing this. So so kind of weird, uh, you know. As, as, a, as a person with a 15-year-old <laughs> child, I'm kind of like, I'm, I, I hope somebody my age is not sending uh, him messages like this. Absolutely creepy. So, so he goes, uh, draw anything cool lately, nerdy girl? And, uh, and here's this, uh, just self-indulgent indulgent doodling. You're so effing good, Molly. Ooh, look at that. So uh, she says here, Ed Piscor is an effing creep. He likes little high school girls and slid into my DMs when I was 17 years old. I didn't know of him. He found me simply by liking one of his pictures, uh, sending me a post of myself. So he took one of her posts of herself in a school uniform, calling her a cute, nerdy girl uh, and saying to come out to Pittsburgh and stay with him. He'd take her out to lunch and meet other uh, cartoonists. Oh, geez. Overall, effing weird with no gray area for what he was trying to do over the course of the year. 
uh, calling me good girl, naughty girl all the time. Very weird. Uh, sending me unfinished pages of a secret, gassing me up and constantly basically trying to groom me into whatever the F. Saying my art was good and saying he'd promote my work. Uh, so this is what he was doing. He was trying to use his deal. And uh, you can see right here uh, where he actually asks her, are you 17 or 18? I'm going to be mad if you say 17 because it crushes me at that age. So, you know, make no mistake about what he's trying to do at this point. This is not, you know, I mean, 17 to like 38. My gosh, uh, absolutely creepy. Why are all the people in the entertainment industry like, uh, we know why, but it's devil stuff. So here it goes. I, I don't like effing sex pests. I don't like creepy old men who think they have the ability to play around with malleable young girls with no real grasp on a situation because their predator have a successful career in comics. If anyone would like to see further evidence, DM me. I don't have a problem posting the rest of the screenshots. I don't feel the need to uh, share it in extensive detail for hours and hours. He could argue that it's not his intention, but I find nothing normal about a 40-year-old man asking a high school girl about her classes, calling her good girl, naughty girl, yeah, and then uh, and then asking if she's 17 or 18. Very weird. And here, here's the one. He, uh, he just calls her naughty girl uh, randomly, and he wants her to be his partner in crime. There you go. Uh, sending her a bunch of heart stuff. Uh, yeah, good girl. You give the correct answers. Weird, weird stuff, absolutely, at the end of the day. And so, uh, yeah, this is another instance of a uh, just creepy mainstream guy who's a leftist, who's probably a male feminist, going out there, and you see what happens every single time. It's the same deal with these people, and it's uh, absolutely disgusting. That's why we need a new cultural movement. That's why we need to overhaul the corrupt comic book industry completely. That's why we have our true independent art that doesn't censor ourselves towards the woke mob that doesn't try to appease these people whatsoever. Please join us, and of course, support our books, support what we got going, and uh, gosh, leave a comment down below with what you think about uh, the naughty girl. <laughs> Ugh. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.